Perfluor injection, techniques to prevent complications in vitreoretinal surgeries. Perfluorocarbon liquid is a versatile adjunct during vitreoretinal surgery. It can be useful in managing regmatogenous retinal detachment, giant retinal tears, selected types of tractional retinal detachment, dislocated intraocular lenses, and dropped nucleus. Proper technique during perfluorocarbon injection can prevent complications associated with the migration of bubbles of the substance into the subretinal space. The injection of PFCL should be slow, keeping the tip of the injection cannula within the initial perfluor bubble, so that it expands to form a single, large bubble. Injecting perfluor against increased IOP raises the chance of forming multiple bubbles, known as fish eggs. The optic disc must always be monitored during the injection, and if the central retinal artery shows signs of closure or pulsation, the pressure applied during the injection should be reduced. It is recommended that the injection be directed toward the optic nerve instead of aiming at the retina. When the flow is directed toward the retina, direct migration of the substance to the subretinal space may occur. Small bubbles of PFCL are a risk for subretinal migration, especially in cases of traction, PVR, retinectomy, or large retinal tears. Controlling intraocular pressure is crucial to reduce resistance during injection, and minimizing the formation of fish eggs can be achieved in various ways. To achieve low injection pressure and maintain stable IOP, dual-bore cannulas are highly effective. These special cannulas allow the exit of perfluor through the tip, while side ports facilitate the egress of BSS. This reduces resistance during injection and minimizes the formation of fish eggs. An alternative technique involves injecting perfluor with the dominant hand while simultaneously aspirating fluid with the vitrector held in the non-dominant hand. This method helps balance the IOP and effectively control the injection flow. Although manual control of IOP by temporarily turning off the infusion line is another option, this approach tends to produce less predictable results. To avoid perfluor turbulence, another important tool is the use of valve trocar systems, and performing slow and gentle maneuvers during scleral indentation.